What's happening? Tis I, the masked one. H, coming at you through your glowing screens via YouTube. May I say it again? Tis I, H, all up in your facial. Am I getting too close? I mean, do you see the bag under this eye? There's, there's a, a ma it's matching equivalent under the, the other eye as well. I've been dealing with, I've been dealing with bags under my eyes since I was like 12. Prepubescent years. Oh, am I getting too close again? Oh, do you see the, the pimple? The perspiration? I'm a big guy. I'm a big guy. But as I said in my introduction video, I'm working on it. Uh, I've been working on it and you'll see a video soon. Uh, before the month is up, um, I'm aiming to at least give you one accountability video a month. Me working out, what I'm doing, this, that, and the third. But today, today, I'm really excited to present to you my first official unboxing and impression of the Rode Video Micro. Essentially, it is a microphone that can be attached to your phone or camera and really up your audio game for YouTube or whatever you use it for. And that's what that's what this is about. Slowly but surely I'm gonna be upgrading my YouTube game. So without further ado, let's get into this unboxing and impression. Enter transition here. <laughs> Ladies and Gentlemen, can you see what I see? Here it is, the box. Now, as you can see to the right, most likely to your left, there's a pair of scissors. Now we can either do this the proper way or the savage beast mode way. I choose Savage Beast Mode, let's go! Oh, yes! And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The Rode Video Micro Compact On Camera Microphone. Let's continue let us continue to see what's inside this bad boy. Um, this I'm not going to go Savage Beast mode on because now we're getting into the delicate nature of things. Yes? Uh, so here's the tape. Why is this tape so adhesive? Why? Why? You know what's really the worst, though? The tape on video games and CDs. Well, most of you might not even know what CDs are. Uh, but back in the day, we used to consume our audio on compact discs. And there was always this punishing adhesive tape on it. Ooh. There was always this punishing adhesive tape on it that really made you work to get to the actual disc. And I don't want to... There we go. Alright. What we have here is the Rycoat Liar shock mount. Uh, it's made of thermal plastic, and the idea behind this is that it will reduce unwanted vibrations. Say you bump the table and the tripods on the table, uh, so on and so forth. This is the mount. Moving on, this is the wire. However, I don't believe this is going to be compatible with... Uh, what I'm filming on, which is my Samsung S7. So I went out and played it safe and got the 3.5 millimeter wire that will be 
compatible with my Samsung device. Now here this nice soft furry thing is the windshield and it's designed for filming outdoor use, especially in the wind. It will uh, reduce that sound that or that sound you get when uh, there's a gust of wind or it's windy outside. And I promise you, no animals were filmed in the making of this windshield despite it being referred to as a dead cat in the photo industry and hiding within the dead cat is the actual microphone made of aluminum and I have to say that it's it's very it feels very very strong like, I feel like I can throw this against a wall and I'd be okay. Plus, I have a two-year warranty. But I'm not going to go do that. <laughs> so this is a cardioid condenser microphone. In layman terms, it basically means that wherever this is pointing, that is the sound that it's focusing on. It's a one-directional microphone. I think it's time that we test this bad boy out. Did you miss this mask? Well, here it is. Uh, I hope that you are hearing me. I am, I would say like three feet away. My Galaxy S7 is on the tripod. The Rode Video Micro is attached. Ideally, what I wanted to do was I wanted to go outside and test with the windshield, without the windshield, and then without the microphone entirely. However, I didn't realize it was 4 o'clock in the morning on the East Coast. No light. So, we're going to do a test with... The microphone I'm gonna say a phrase I'll say the phrase three times then I'm gonna unplug it and I'll say the same phrase three times again how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood now, I'm going to unplug the mic, and let's see if we see, rather, let's see if we hear. All right, now the mic is unplugged. Now, let's see if we hear a difference. I'm going to say the same phrase three times. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? All right, we're here at the Brooklyn Bridge. I thought this was a great test site uh, to test out the Rode Video Micro. Uh, right now, the dead cat is on and the micro, the video micro is attached. Uh, hopefully, you're just hearing me and you're probably going to be hearing some of the sound effects in the back such as the passing cars there's cars everywhere every side left right back the only thing cars aren't on top of us which is good so you'll probably be hearing some wind because we do got some wind action going on so you'll probably be hearing some zzzr, whatever right uh pause all right so let's do the the, the test how much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck right, now we're gonna do the test with the dead cat on. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck 
If a woodchuck could chuck wood. And may I add, it's very cold out here. My hands are ashy, but my <laughs> afro is nice. Let's go. I'm back to give you my final verdict. Ma as in M, capital A, H. That's me. I'd like to give you my final verdict on the Rode Video Micro. But first, I should address something. This is the third video that I've made. The first video, my hair was all disheveled. The second video, I had the nice sexy fro going on. And now, I have the curly curls. I'm versatile, but at least the mask has stayed the same. You gotta give me, you gotta give me some points for consistency. Alright, now, back to my final verdict on the video micro by Rode. Personally, I think it's a really uh, great addition uh, to my video recording, YouTube, uh, YouTube equipment. <clears throat> I actually wish I, I, I splurged the 50 up for the extra $50 and got the, uh, the other version. I think it's a, a fantastic mic. The, the sound sounds focused. It definitely reduces a lot of ambient noise and I don't sound like ridiculously loud, nor do I sound ridiculously low. Nor are you hearing like this this constant hum. So if you if you're trying to start a YouTube career or you just want to like take some videos with your family um, and friends, pick this up. Ah, out.